Drinking is largely accepted as a social activity and a way to cope with stress. It might even be a remedy for insomnia or anxiety. Yet, alcohol generally doesn't do much to relieve these concerns in the long term. It also comes with some significant downsides. From month-long sobriety challenges to the hashtag sober curious movement, more and more people are taking a closer look at the role alcohol plays in their lives. Whether you're looking to cut back or take an indefinite break, these tips can help you create a plan that works for you. Number 1. Read about the health effects. Alcohol can affect your health in many ways. Even drinking moderately can leave you feeling groggy, foggy, or hungover. The more you drink, the more likely you notice other health effects, too, like disrupted sleep, digestive issues, memory problems, disagreements and other conflicts with loved ones. Over time, these effects can begin to pile up. Number 2. Take some time to explore your relationship with alcohol. A key first step in giving up anything is identifying why you're doing it. Figure out how much you actually drink. Maybe you don't think you depend on alcohol, exactly, but you still wonder whether you might be drinking too much. When you're having a good time, you find it hard to stop, especially in the company of friends having the same amount. Think about why you drink and identify alcohol triggers. Maybe your concerns center around your reasons for drinking rather than the amount. It's common to drink to lighten tension on a first date or before a difficult conversation. Knowing why you drink is essential, says Cindy Turner, a Virginia therapist who specializes in addiction treatment and alcohol moderation. She goes on to explain that knowing the reasons behind your alcohol use can help you explore alternative ways to address those issues more productively. Common alcohol triggers include relationship stress, trouble at work, social events, insomnia. Number 3. Talk about it. Letting others know about your choice to stop drinking may help motivate you to stick with your decision. Family and friends can provide encouragement and support when you stop drinking. Building new relationships with people who also choose to avoid alcohol can have a lot of benefits. Check out apps like Meetup to find other people interested in alcohol-free activities. Number 4. Change your environment. You may not need to completely reinvent your life to quit drinking, but making a few changes in your surroundings to help avoid alcohol triggers can make a big difference. Alcohol in your house can tempt you when you're trying to quit. If you feel like having a drink, knowing you'll have to go out and make a purchase can deter you long enough to find a good distraction. Choosing the right replacement beverage can help you stand firm in your desire to stop drinking. With a little creativity, you can find something enjoyable that doesn't make you miss your favorite drink. You can try any of the following. Infusing plain or sparkling water with chopped fruits or herbs. Adding cinnamon sticks or spices to tea, apple cider, or hot chocolate. Mix juice or lemonade with sparkling water. Number 5. Prepare for potential alcohol detox. People who are more dependent on alcohol may start to experience what's known as alcohol detox when they significantly cut back on or stop drinking. This happens as your body begins to remove alcohol from your system. Detox can bring on alcohol withdrawal symptoms such as anxiety, headache, fatigue, insomnia, mood changes, shakes, sweating. Talk with a healthcare professional if you're concerned you may experience detox symptoms when quitting drinking or cutting back. Together, you can come up with a plan to get through it. Quitting drinking can take time. Whether your end goal involves complete sobriety or more mindful drinking, you're still doing your brain and body a big favor.